between CPR for dummies and any dummy can learn CPR. There's no signs of life. You go right into the steps of CPR. What they used to be called the ABCs, now they're called the CABs. Person with this panic look kind of grabbing at their throat, what do you ask them? Are you choking? choking? Are you choking? Exactly. So you want to see if they can talk. We're going to work on the individual skills and then we'll build the sequence. So the first thing I want you guys to do is just find the proper hand place of that. So you want to put the heel of your hand right in the center of the chest, then lock your fingers and lift your fingers up. And get one hand on the forehead, like right, like you're checking for a fever. We'll go in, I promise you. <laughs> if you do it right, it will go in. You should be able to see the chest rise. So look out the corner of your eye. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You're going to grab their jaw from the front. Lie them on your forearm. Hit them again. But that's baby, baby, baby. It's no signs of life. We go right into the CABs. What's the first thing we do? <laughs> but the heart has to go between these pads. It sends a shock from here to the here. To to the 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 what is the rate of compressions? In other words, how fast are they? For a baby, 100. All 100. the same. 100, 100, 100 per minute. Per minute. Yeah. Good. Uh, I like a lot of the practice too. Yeah. It's very yeah. easy going. They make it, make it uh, uh -huh. easy to relax and give it a try because you got to get in and do it. I mean, yeah. like you said, there's some muscle memory involved, and I love the fact that they changed it. It's simpler. So like trying to find, you know, this, okay, you know, oh, like if you're really panicked and you're, you're stressed and you're going to feel your own, do it wrong, I don't know what to do, just press, mm -hmm. press and breathe. Press. Now we use this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it.